I'm never gonna know what could be if I don't try. I realized that that literally made it a fear food for me. Good morning, welcome to a day in the life vlog. On a pretty busy Tuesday, a couple of my days in the week look like this. I thought I'd do a bit of a day in the life to show you a big day managing work, uni and training commitments. So on a Tuesday, my alarm goes off just before six-ish. I get up, wash my face, get changed in my work stuff, chuck on some moisturizer and I try to smash that out in like literally three minutes. Then I grab all my things for the day. I try to pack my stuff the night before since it's quite early, but there's quite a few things I do have to add in the morning. So I'll pop my shoes on and then pack everything I need for the day. So I have all my uni stuff. Um, I pack my lunch and snacks for the day and then I prepare something for myself to eat on the way to work early. Something I never did but we out here trying to feel properly and get healthy so that's what I did. Appreciating how beautiful dawn is just before the sun rises. So peaceful there's a star in the sky. So Tuesday morning, I run a few classes and have a few clients, just appreciating the rainbow and the lighting. Um, and the sun came out today, it was so beautiful. And we are actually getting our sauna put in. So my gym's getting a sauna, which is so cool. So it's roughly about four and a bit hours. My morning okay, shift, that is. <laughs> okay, there's, there's literally a video. I was about to do an intro, but there's... <laughs> A camera right there and I don't really want anyone to just like look at the camera and watch me vlogging that's really awkward so morning shift done and now I have a lot of uni to smash out and a lecture starting in like 25 minutes so I'm gonna head to the library beautiful day so yeah it's a Tuesday morning I just finished my work shift so I just had a couple of classes and a few clients and now it's almost 11 and I have a lecture starting at 11 so I'm gonna head to the library and get my lecture done and then smash out a couple of hours of study before heading to my gym session. I had no intention of vlogging today and I literally my alarm went off at like just before 6 this morning and I was like fuck it YOLO I'm gonna vlog because this is so weird vlogging on my camera I mean my phone because I feel like I'm like not looking at the right place so I hope this works but anyway one of the reasons I decided to was because if you guys saw my very last vlog I was mentioned how I felt really lost and I also have been struggling with a shit ton of anxiety lately really bad anxiety and yeah I'm trying to work on it and I really enjoy vlogging and sharing stuff with you guys helps me do the right thing as well anyway another thing that I'm obviously going through is eating disorder recovery and I saw my eating disorder psychologist on Saturday and something that I often deal with is having fleeting thoughts of being really like I guess motivated or really like determined to just like go against ED and eat more but then it's fleeting and that that ED voice is quite strong but I'm trying really hard to be stronger 
I thought while I'm like trying really hard, it would be positive and helpful for other people to also just um, share that positivity. So this morning when I had an early start, sometimes I would only have like a shake on the way or something that wasn't like high calorie because one, I'm not hungry at that time and two, that ED voice has always felt bad to eat so early. But now I'm just kind of like YOLO. Like I'm never going to know what could be if I don't try to get healthy. So I know I have so many fears about what if this happens, what if that happens, but I'm like, I'm never gonna know. So anyway, um, I'm going to have a protein shake and a bar that I packed just because energy, just gonna keep getting the energy in all throughout the day and not, not stress. So I packed a peanut butter um, plant protein shake from Macro. <laughs> I keep getting it confused now. Muscle Nation, I'm used to saying Macro Mike, but I love Macro Mike, but now I'm in Muscle Nation, which I also love. <laughs> um active wear here's my discount code muscle nation but yeah my anxiety has been mainly over uni because it's just been a lot yeah it's ridiculous like the amount of hours i'm putting into it is insane but yeah i'm trying to take the pressure off myself because at the end of the day life is so short and i don't want to waste it stressing and studying and stuff stressing over studying and having anxiety but it's easier said than done obviously Yum. Okay, I feel like what I was saying was so messy before, but basically I have this quote that I've really loved lately that kind of sums it up. All of our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. So what I mean by that quote is, you know, the courage to recover because you don't know mentally or physically where you could be in recovery, um, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, it was time to head to the library and smash out a couple of hours of study. So Tuesday is my shortest block of study. Like every day I pretty much get a minimum of five to six hours of work done, but I have not as much time on a Tuesday because I'm working for most of the day. Um, well, uh, not most of it, but a large portion. So I had another snack that I packed. I got this in a goodness me box. So I was trying it for the first time. I was really pushing myself mentally and physically to keep having heaps of snacks throughout the day. Like honestly, at this point, I'd usually just have a protein shake and it's like literally getting to midday at this point. So I really was being hard on myself to stick to having extra snacks, even though I was full. Anyway, in this kind of four hour ish block of study, I get done one lecture. So I had a chemistry lecture and then I did heaps of notes and study. I did lots of different chemistry questions from tutorials and homework sheets that is like extra material we get. And then I also answered some emails and did some molecular biology, like Excel spreadsheets for a report that I had due that week. Um, I also got a text from my modeling agent canceling the Zoom I was meant to have, which I'll tell you guys about later. And this is just a little, um, view of some of the notes I've taken recently and what it looks like. After a couple of hours, it's time to force myself to eat more food. So I pack myself lunch. I usually have either leftovers or just like brown rice, some veg and some sorts of protein. So this was like a chicken veggie stir fry my mum made with some brown rice. And then I picked up this book off the shelf that I saw as I walked past to like fill up my bottle again. Um, to just like start reading while I had a little bit of a lunch break, which I only gave myself about 10 minutes to have. Um, and then I went and refilled my water bottle and this is my little study setup. It's kind of cute, um, kind of stressful. <laughs> So Tuesdays is a gym workout, not running. I gave myself a little bit of a lunch break um, as a study break. And I ended up starting to read this book, which I borrowed. And it's like a non-fiction book from someone who suffered with an eating disorder. And it's so weird, but like I, I don't know if it's like that thing where like, you know, when people are pregnant, they see heaps of pregnant people. Um, I don't know what the phenomena is called, but um, I just kept seeing lots of eating disorder recovery books and I was like, why? Why though? Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> um, but yeah. I, I fully came on here because I thought I had something to say, but now I'm just like 
yeah i've just been trying to trying really hard to like take the pressure off myself from life and just you know try my best but not try too hard like not put so much energy into everything and be constantly working that that i'm sad and that life isn't worth living because like at the end of the day life's short and as someone sent me in a dm uni is a small part of a big life and i've really liked that saying and i've been saying it so much for so many things lately like all these things i'm stressed about and get anxiety about they're all just tiny minor things that are part of that are insignificant in the big scheme so i'm trying not to let it oh shit i, I, I hit my hazard lights fuck fuck <laughs> Oops, when you're vlogging in the car and you hit the hazard lights. And don't vlog and drive. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Okay, I'm reading like five books at the moment, like at the same time. Jokes like four. <laughs> okay. And I also like read like a page deck, so I don't have the time. But um, this one like positive book on like rewiring your brain for your like mental health. Something I read last night, I resonated with it and I thought that's a really good tactic. And it was imagining the person you want to be like how you feel about yourself how you speak to yourself and then just stepping into that person and that might sound really like cliche or silly but I thought that was I I kind of thought it was um a really good tactic um because I guess like if the only way to be the person you want to be in the future is to just start being them as like lame as that might sound um but yeah so that's kind of helped me with pushing to just like eat a lot today even though like I do have that voice in my head overthinking it and thinking like well this is a lot the other part of me is just like well I want to be the person I don't want to be and so I'm just going to act like them you know anyway I'm going to stop vlogging and driving because I feel like that's not the best thing to do in life so I'll see you guys later let's go hopefully lift some good good numbers in the gym The other day I discovered that on the notes app you can do like checklists and I've been freaking loving it. I think I started it on Saturday. Yeah, I started it on Saturday and I'm a to-do list girl but I love crossing it off. So when I found you could tick stuff off, that's from Sunday, I've been loving that. And then so I've been doing that for like my daily to-do list but I also today have tried doing like a um, chalk in a yui. Today I've tried doing like a little holding myself accountable, like food diary, and I don't want to call it like a food diary because like I know those can be like really like obsessive, but like I don't do this ever, like this is my first time trying it, and I was just like, look, I'm going to hit these meals today and I'm not going to pack it and then not eat it because I'm not hungry, I'm going to make myself a checklist and stick to it, so um, 
yeah, um, that's why I've done that. And it's good I've done that because I've not been hungry to have the amount of food that I've had and packed. And I still have more to pack. And I still have that voice in my head being like, you've eaten a lot today. And then I'm like, whatever, I need to check off the list and do it because... Like, as I was mentioning earlier in the vlog, you're never going to know where you could be until you try. And something I've struggled with... Okay, whoa, there's such a steady flow of cars right now. Oh my god, I'm literally dripping in sweat. I've, I'm just going to tell you guys while I wait for like a break in the traffic, because that could be a while. I'm so freaking open on my YouTube channel. It's like a bit taken too far, but YOLO. Um, okay, but what? <laughs> This traffic's like bad. Um, I've struggled with, I don't want to say imposter syndrome, but just feeling like a fraud for being like, I guess like a, I don't know, like one of the role models at training when I haven't run well in so long. And just like, it sucks. So yeah, I don't even know why I started saying that. Sometimes I get down about it and then it makes it even like, why, oh my God, there's so much traffic I'm never going to get through. Why am I still even trying to like, do this when it's like so far gone but then I'm like all all I literally have left is to try so we're out here waiting for a break in the traffic and I have no idea why I'm going on this rant I'm literally never going to get to work at this rate anyway so my next snack before my next shift that I put on my to-do list is an apple and a protein shake so I'm going to finish this apple before I get through the traffic watch also, just a fun fact, this is something I've done since I was like little, but I ate the entire apple core. I literally leave not one single bit of the apple. This is all I have left. Done. I've tried to spit the seeds out though. No, I swallowed them. Oh well. I'm at work. I'm pretty early. I still have like more than half an hour before the class starts, the first class. So I'm going to write up the whiteboard and prepare so that after class ends, I don't have to stay back for too long. All I have to do is set up the room and I won't have to like write out the whole workout. So I actually got an email earlier when I was at the library that the Zoom meeting call that I had with my modeling agent tonight has been rescheduled again. It was meant to be last Tuesday, then they rescheduled. It was meant to be tonight, then they rescheduled. And I'm really glad because it was meant to be at 7.30 tonight. So I was going to do it from like the work and I'm just like, I'm keen to just go home. And I have my protein shake to drink and no part of me physically or mentally wants to consume more energy right now, but I'm going to do it. I also want to say like, as I mentioned in the last few weeks, I was having a lot of anxiety and most of it was to do with life and not anything to do with ED. And I know I've talked a lot about that today, but I think I have because I'm trying to get back into the mindset of like really trying to push myself because when I wasn't thinking about it because I'm so busy and I wasn't thinking about it, I wasn't pushing myself to keep recovering. I was just, you know, doing my daily normal life and that's obviously just like being stagnant and like maintaining my weight rather than gaining it, which isn't like helping getting a period back and all of that so another thing encouraging me to keep um fueling even though i'm not hungry and it's like mentally difficult is that i'm really tired and i just like want to feel energetic and have energy um so i'm having a protein sample from muscle nation which is actually way protein and not vegan protein so another fear food but yeah my eating disorder like wants me to like regularly have fear food so i literally stopped eating dairy when i was like 15 or 16 purely because of like all the shit i saw online from like honestly like influencers and just like misinformation online i realized that that literally made it a fear food for me and i'm not the biggest fan of it but like there are some dairy products like whey protein shakes that I don't not like and they're good for me. <sighs> anyway, whatever. Not gonna justify. I'm just going to have it. I don't need to justify having it, but I do want to show having it so that if you have like cut out dairy or like convince yourself that you're lactose intolerant, you can try try 
challenge of seafood. It's got a very basic flavor. It has 28 grams of protein per serve. So I'm gonna be at like 90 grams of protein at this point of, in a day. Definitely gonna be well into the mid hundreds tonight. So we love that. We'll get some gains. Whey protein compared to like plant protein is so much sweeter. This is so good. So that was my little nighttime routine after work, coming home, unpacking, having some dinner, leftovers that my mum made, and then doing more uni work before I had a snack and got ready for bed. So that was basically Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life vlog. If you did, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys in the next video. See ya!